guys so in today's video we are going to be unpacking all of my makeup putting it away and i also feel like i'm going to do a bit of a shop my stash i haven't seen my makeup in months now it's been packed away in boxes as we moved and then this is the last room that I've kind of turned my sights to in terms of setting everything up. So if you missed my last video, we went through um, everything that I had packed and taken with me and I kind of like dismantled those containers and talked you through all the makeup that I've been using for the last month. So it's kind of like a very long extended shop my stash. If you missed that, I will link it down below. But my goal for today is to get through all of these boxes down here. Let me flip you around. So we have all of these boxes sitting here. Um, and I've got my camera set up, so hopefully um, I can record all of this. This room is still kind of a hot mess. And then I've got this pile of clear acrylic containers that I've used in the past that I'm going to reuse. Um, and then over here is my Alex 9 drawer. I think this is going to be kind of my filming setup. I don't know. It's feeling very boring right now looking into that corner, but... That's my cheapy Ikea table that I usually set up to film and I can hopefully put my camera kind of in front of it. Right now that drawer system is completely empty. So I'd like to kind of get it filled back up again. And then over here, I have some of the makeup that I've been using um, for the last couple of months that I had taken with me to the hotel. That also needs to get put back away in its proper place. This is my everyday makeup drawer. Um, I've put some stuff back in here that I know, my open mascara, um, eyeshadow primer, things like brow products that I'm using. So those type things are gonna go in here, but I'd like to fill this drawer back up. Um, okay, so this is the drawer that I use for cream, um, blush bronzer and highlight. Continue to use that. And then down here are some tubs that I put a lot of liquid products in. So foundations, setting sprays. I also think I keep my powders, concealers and stuff like that in there. So I'd like to get this all sort of cleaned up, fixed up, etc. Probably deal with this pile of stuff and either put it away in a closet or figure out what I'm doing with all of it. So I think what I'm going to do here is just sit down on the floor and unpack boxes, um, put them into acrylic storage and kind of then take the storage over to where it needs to go after I've unpacked it and kind of put it into its proper spot. During this process, um, I'm going to kind of pick out the things that like really excite me. So reunited with my makeup again, what are the things that like jump out at me like, ooh, I wanna play with that some more. Anything that excites me is just gonna go into this little bin here and then I'll put it in my everyday makeup drawer at the very end. Um, I completely had my little mic turned off. See, all the things that I would remember to do when I was filming before. But just to quickly recap where we are right now, um, I have loaded up all of my brushes over here, um, face brushes, I filled the little beads up here, and then I also have a little cup going for a whole bunch of BK Beauty brushes. These were sent to me right before I left. I'm so incredibly grateful to the brand for sending these over, but I've had zero chance to play with them at all. And then in, over here, the only thing I've done is load up all of this, load up this drawer, which includes all of my 
liquid, um, sort of creamy eyeshadows. Got some extra brow products back here, my eyeshadow primers, some primer bases, which have a strong color, and then any sort of liquid liners that I have. I don't have a ton of those, to be honest. So what I've tossed into my um, little bin so far in terms of things that I'm excited to try again, I've, I've got the sponge from BK Beauty. I've not tried this yet. This is the CJ Smoothers little CoverGirl stick concealer that I usually have in my everyday makeup drawer. So that just needs to go back. And then I pulled these three from Liquid Eyeshadows. So these are the Kosas uh, 10 second eyeshadows. Um, this is in Copper Halo. I love this liquid eyeshadow. Uh, this is a CoverGirl Exhibitionist lid paint in the shade Amazing, no. Amaretto. And this is one that I had played around with quite a bit, but I still feel like I could use some more time with. Then I'm excited to mess around with one of these Essence Metal Shock eyeshadows. And this is my favorite shade. And this is in Stars and Stories. And then I've just unpacked all of my cream and liquid blush, bronzer, and highlight. And holy manoli, when did all of this happen? The thing is, I don't really want to do a declutter. That's the worst part. Like I'm really excited for most of these products. You know, I haven't played around with an M Cosmetics serum blush in a hot minute. Um, so I think I'm kind of excited to pull this in. Another one that I immediately, immediately jumped out at me while I was um, kind of unpacking everything was this little Chantecai Cheek Gelee. I've recently purchased some Chantecai products that were on sale. So I would like to kind of, maybe, maybe I'll film a Chantecai video. I don't know. We'll see, but I'd like to pull that in for sure. This was a Stila, um, what is this? Their Convertible Color Lip Cheek Duo in Magnolia. It's this very cool toned, mauve brown color. Um, once again, this was a shade that I was playing with before I left, and I feel like I'd like to, I don't know, get some more use out of it. I, I have definitely missed these little Stila, um, Heaven's Hue highlighter, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the shade in Kitten. I think that will be a blast. I also kind of miss this Flesh Beauty stick. This is a white shade in Startle. It's just very... <gasps> Marty, why are you barking? Hi. Hi, Marty. What are you doing? Did you forget I was up here? Yeah. Hi, Mo. Um, so let's pull that in, because I love this. I think Flesh may be getting discontinued as a brand. I think it was kind of a failed brand launch, but I really liked it. Oh, or do I want to pull this instead? Earth from ColourPop. Nope, let's pull that. Earth from ColourPop. I love, love, love this shade. Let's pull that in for highlighter. I really loved the ones I had with me. I had this Oma Beauty one, and then I had this Fenty um, matchstick and mocha that I had purchased right before I left. I really loved playing around with those. Still don't have a ton of cream bronzer sticks, but I had gotten this. This was Jordana Sculpt and Glow in their contour shade, and this was really nice. That ended up being a gorgeous color. Uh, let's toss that in. all of my single eyeshadows. Um, I have gone ahead and combined all my super shocks in here. Two things that I know I'm gonna immediately pull are these. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. These are Eyes Mars Mars and Marie Antoinette and Betty. She has discontinued all of these shades and she has n shades that are now not named after like um, women. They're just like oyster and pearl and things like that as opposed to Betty and Marie Antoinette. So I have emailed Charlotte Tilbury asking her what the closest shade dupe is for Marie Antoinette because this is my favorite taupe eyeshadow and I missed the heck out of this shadow while I was gone. I, it was probably one of my biggest regrets for not packing. I wanted it so many times over the last couple of months. Betty is more of this really pretty bronze shade, a little bit warmer tone, but still pretty neutral. I really use the heck, if you saw my last video, you know that I use the heck out of these three, whoopsie. These three ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Shades, which were more of their ultra metallic or ultra glitter shades that were a little bit more sheer. Um, I love them. And I found, as I was unpacking, three shades that I think are gonna have, maybe two shades. 
that I think are gonna have a similar effect. I'm gonna swatch them and maybe pick a few more. So this is Ladybird. Oh yeah, it's just that super shiny glitter there. And then I also think I wanna pull in, do I wanna pull in both of these Hourglass scattered light eyeshadows? I feel like I do. I've missed playing around with both of these. I have the shade um, Smoke and Blaze and I really like those. So let's toss them. All right, guys, I am going to reset up over here and load into that door directly because my drawer for my powder, blush, bronzer, and highlighter doesn't have dividers like acrylic ones. They have some ones that I just made out of styrofoam in there. And so I think what I want to do is just set this box up here and then just unload directly into that drawer over there. here, glowy bronzers here, um, and then highlighters are just kind of tucked in based off of shape, to be honest, more than anything else. The bigger, bulkier ones here. Same thing with blushes. Um, these are mostly drugstore down here, and then these are high-end blushes. A couple things that jumped out at me that I was like, ooh, I wanna go play with that again. One is this from Samantha March, and Ofra, this is her chiclet blush. Like, I've, mm, Oh yeah, that is such a pretty blush. I really wanna play with that. And then I, do I wanna pull both these Persona ones? I don't know, they're so pretty. Yeah, I feel like I wanna pull both these in. Going to pull both of these Personas, the super blush in. I just, I've really missed playing with those. I also think I wanna pull this Jouer uh, blush duo in. This is the more nude toned peach one. Um, that's in Adore and Hold Me. I can see like five other things I'm like, ooh, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna make an everyday makeup drawer and we'll see if I actually stick to it. it. Is actually where I put all of my face palettes and I put them in these little blocks. Key, um, they're called the Like It, they're called the Bricks Customizable Organizers. You can get these at Container Store. And they're kind of nice because they fit in an Alex and drawer incredibly well. Um, I wanna pull this in. I really enjoyed this. This is the Aether uh, Beauty palette and this is in their Rose Quartz pa palette. It has a pink, sort of a neutral rose and then a really pretty um, sort of pinky highlighter. I think that's the only thing I'm gonna like jump in and pull from here. think about this. So these are more pigmented um, sort of lip lacquer type products. These are more sheer products that have sheer glosses rather that don't have any shimmer in them. These are sh glosses that have a little bit of shimmer in them and then these have quite a bit of shimmer and or shine to them. Um, so these could be toppers or you could definitely wear them on their own but they definitely have decent amounts of glitter particle type products in them. Um, and then I've got sort of lip oils here and then more of like treatment type products in here. And I'll, I have to be honest, in the day of COVID and with a mask, I'm not really wearing a lot of lip products. So I feel like there's a couple things that jump out at me that I do wanna pull um, and kind of keep using. Um, I wanna pull this little UZ lip treatment. I also wanna, um, have the Kosas Wet Lip Oil, and this is in the shade Dip, that I think I will get some really good use out of. I also really missed playing around with this Wayne Gloss lipstick in Petunia, so I think that would be something nice to keep in there. Um, and since I've got a lot of nude type colors, I'm gonna, I think I'd like to use one of these Fenty lip balms, and this is in the shade Fussy, the gloss balm. So I'm gonna toss these in to my basket. Don't really feel like I'm gonna want a ton more lipstick though.
All right, here is all lipsticks. We've got drugstore, some high-end, my luxury lipsticks, lots of Charlotte Tilbury, some Lisa Eldred, some Wayne Goss. In terms of things I want to pull, um, gosh, guys, I just, like I said, I'm not wearing a lot of lipstick right now. I feel like I'm just gonna leave all of this as is, and then if I need something, I'll go into the drawer and get it. Yeah, we're just gonna leave them all in the drawer. Full. I've got drugstore, um, liquid lipstick type products in here. Some of them are more matte than others. Some of them are more like just heavy liquefied lipsticks. Then liquid lipsticks um, more on the high end from M Cosmetics and Bare Minerals and Ofra, Julep. Then I've got more of the just lipstick formulas from the drugstore that don't fit in typical like more in the stick format and then i've also got a couple of more like liquefied lipsticks that aren't super matte i thought this one's matte let's pop pop these two up here and then here i've just got liquefied lipsticks and lipsticks that are high-end and then this is more of like balms and sheer things, both high-end and um, a drugstore. I'm gonna pull this just a tint. Which one do I wanna pull? This pinky one, this brown one, because I do really like this formula. I haven't pulled a lot of lipsticks um, into my everyday makeup drawer, so I think I'm gonna take these two from ColourPop in. Um, they're, they're just a tint balms, they smell amazingly like um, passion fruit, which I love passion fruit. I could eat anything with passion fruit, real passion fruit, passion fruit flavor, anything. Like I, I love the scent. So I think I'm gonna toss those into the everyday makeup drawer basket and then we'll get this set up in the closet. I've got lighter coverage foundations here, glowy foundations here. I've got sort of natural to semi-matte. I don't have a lot of matte foundations here with sort of a medium coverage. And then I've got any sort of like, I don't know, glowy BBCC type cream products over here along with a Pacifica Beauty all light foundation. And then I've got my concealers in the back here between more and less coverage. A couple things I wanna pull. I wanna play around more with this Kosas concealer. I wanna play around more with, where'd it go? Um, the Ilia True Skin Serum one. I pull in this Erin's Faces one as well for concealer. Powders, um, I do want to use my Hourglass Veil powder. Again, my number seven um, Lift Illuminate uh, illuminating powder and then this little Kiko Milano Tuscan Sunshine Perfecting Powder. And then I did find um, three products. These are part of my makeup use up this year. I'm trying to get through a decent amount of non cruelty free products that are still sitting in my collection as part of my project pan this year. So these three need to go back in my drawer. In terms of primers, I have been very dry lately, so I think I wanna pull in this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Oh wait, Tatcha was part of my everyday make or my makeup use up this year. I think that'll be good for primer. And then in terms of foundation, um, things that I'm missing or like that jumped out at me when I set this drawer, this number seven protect and perfect foundation. I have missed playing with this a ton. I also want to get some more use out of this Oma Beauty foundation. Yeah, I want to, I want to play with this Westman Atelier one as well.
good as it's gonna get from an eyeshadow palette perspective. Things I wanna pull that I've missed, honestly. Persona Identity, I know she's redoing the packaging on this, and I think it's also because I've been seeing her talk about this on social media. I really have missed this, so I would like to play with that. I've been thinking about this little PYT palette too. It's the cool toned one. I think this would give me a lot of really pretty everyday looks. So let's toss that in. I'm also gonna pull this little Thrive Quad in. Lots of just really pretty easy shimmers. Kind of been thinking about, uh, where is it? It's old and I think it's discontinued, but it's like a dupe for the Leela palette. They called it the Supernova palette. I don't know, that one kind of stuck in my mind when I was unpacking things. So let's toss that in. This is another one from e.l.f. that has unfortunately been discontinued. It was their Modern Metals palette, but it just had some really pretty shimmers and then some really interesting matte shades. So I like that formula. I'm gonna toss these two e.l.f. guys in as well. I tested them, love them, and then haven't had a chance to play with them since I finished testing them. So let's get those in. So here is the desk space. I kind of rearranged it from what we looked at earlier. I've got the two little cups up here, one with the face brushes and then one with the brushes I'm testing. And then this is now my um, testing drawers. So I've got makeup that I'm testing down here in these two. And then these are my, my project pan makeup for the year in these two. I've got eye brushes down here, my mirror, and then over here, I've got face brushes on top, my sponges in here, and then just sort of like little tools in things down in this little drawer. In here, I've got this set up now for my everyday makeup drawer. So I've got sort of my face cheek products here, my mascaras, some my liquid eyeshadows, primers back there, face products, concealers, powders, that Aether Beauty palette, a bunch of little eyeshadow things, and then a few uh, lip products over there. Not, a, not my biggest everyday makeup drawer, but hey, that is going to be plenty. And then over in this drawer, I have all of my cream face products. I've got more of the palettes my salt palette, which I've been loving, um, and then blush, highlight, and bronzer. Down here is where my pencils are. Then in this first little drawer is where I've got primers and powders. That is all the powders I have. Gosh, I think I may have decluttered a bunch of them. Not entirely sure. And then down here is foundations and concealers. And then in the bottom drawer down here, I've got some setting sprays and then like extra sponges and some like a little very much color switch and a palette and things like that. And then if you pan over, I've got kind of my filming area into this corner here. I've just kind of left my ring light up. So there's light in the room. There's a Morty on a bed. Hello, Morty on a bed. What are you doing? You want belly rubs, don't you? Yes, no. Um, and then we've got the drawers over here, which you've kind of largely seen as I've gone through them with um, all of the products here. So, um, and you'll see these drawers again as we start to do everyday shop my stashes for everyday makeup drawers in there. So that's there. Just got a lamp and a candle on top there. I'm kind of liking how clean it is. And then going into the closet, I've tucked the lights I'm not using right now back here. Got some office stuff that's not related to filming and pictures and things up there. Um, a mic that I use for filming. And then I've got this little cubby thing here. Um, this is where the rest of my lipsticks are sitting right now. These are, I think I'm gonna use this bin for products that just haven't worked for me. So I'm gonna toss things that don't work in there. I have backup products in here, as well as some extra tools. This is extra makeup sponges and some brushes that I'm not currently using. I made it clutter those. Got a bin for towels. These are all of my magnetic palettes that have something in them. They're kind of a mess right now. This bin is my empties. And as you can see, we need to do a giant empties video here soon. And then this one is um, has some face mask, sheet mask. I don't know if that's permanently going to stay in here 
or if I may move this down to my bathroom. I haven't decided, but for now, that's where I've got those tucked. And then I just have lots of these little bins. I use these like crazy when I am sorting makeup. So if I'm doing like top 10 blushes or I'm sorting for decluttering, um, they end up um, helping me sort makeup for future videos um, very easily. Um, and then so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and it was interesting for you, a different style video for me, but I'm actually hoping now that this room is set up and it feels organized that I can get in here and start filming. Um, there's some quite a few things I need to kind of update you guys on, life updates, but then also um, update you on purchases, my beauty budget, things that have been working, not working, some drugstore roundups, so lots of future videos need to get filmed in this room now and I'm very excited to kind of have a space to do that so so I hope you guys are having a great day Talk to you soon. Bye.